Okay, let's get excited. Don Tank is here. We've been working a long time for this, many months, and now it's the day of reckoning, the day of real excitement and joy. First thing to remember, be on time. So check your check-in. Remember, you have to be there the 30 minutes before your sales pitch because sometimes the pitches do move a little quicker than the 15 minutes allotted. So we want to make sure that we're honoring the judge's time and we're there on time, ready to go if we need to. Um, you can leave after your sales pitch though, so you only have that obligation. And again, to address the question of how many people need to be there, obviously we need one person from a company, but you can have one person, you can have eight people, just no entourages. And by that I mean, if you're gonna be up there helping, you have to help. You can't just stand there and do nothing. You have to participate. No one likes seeing people sit around, so absolutely no entourages. Uh, when it comes to dress, uh, business attire, so I prefer suits for males, females, business attire. If you don't have a suit, wear a tie. Remember, you're here to impress the judges and you want to look good. You want to look professional. you got to move yourself away from being a student to an entrepreneur. And how you do that is how you look physically. They take you seriously that way. It is an expert panel of five judges, so they are ready for you. And in terms of that, how I would do it is I would spend half of my time on the sales pitch. Then I would spend the other half of the time allowing the judges to ask us questions for a particular company. So you could maybe talk for eight minutes, give them the seven. I've seen companies do 10 and five, but what I've found is that they run out of time and sometimes the judges want to interact and see things. So you actually do better when you give them more time to ask questions, but you do want to set your company up using your sales pitch slide and what you know and so forth. Uh, I'm here to help whatever you need. And here's the address. So you need to be there on time again, please. Cause if you're not on time, we have to cut you and move on. It's just business. It's not personal. Again, my last thing that I would say in this one is when you start your presentation, your sales pitch, don't say, hi, my name is in the company. Think about it. Set up a problem or an opportunity. Say a story. Draw the judges in and then start your company thing. Relate to them because if you do that, you're going to grab their attention versus just, oh, here's another sales pitch. No, you want to hear the why. So like I said, I use stories. Use a story to draw them in. 20 seconds, something. But it's how you start it is really going to set up the whole tone for the sales pitch. I believe in every one of you. I'm excited to see what happens. It's going to be a lot of fun tonight. Let the nerves relax and just have a good time. You've earned this. You've worked hard. You're going to be amazing. Good luck.